Everyone, we are so excited around here because Monday we will start to bring in our top finalists for the next home and family DIY star. Yes, <laughs> they are, I'm so excited, <laughs> and they're going to be joining us all month long. Can yeah, you? This going to be, it's gonna be like fun. a great week next it's week. Be fun. You're so fine excited. when you get to meet them. <laughs> okay, you two are there to be excited, yeah. excited to meet you, Orly. Oh my God, I can't wait to meet them. Yeah. Oh. It, because you always do the greatest DIY projects, and today you brought us something yes. really, really fun. Yes. As oh. you do every day. Oh. So these were, these I'm really excited about. So I saw these incredible Gucci heels. Um, Gucci did them, Alexander Wang did them. They're a really fantastic trend. There they are, oh my God. Oh my and they're God. really, really fabulous because they're sort of a take on that really preppy loafer, but they're done in these just incredible, fabulous, wild heels. And we had Nikki Sharp on the show a little while ago, and Christina and I both, like, like clutch shoes, each other instantly shoes, shoes. and we're like look at those shoes we have to make them right. so there are her shoes and these are the ones that I yeah. made inspired by hers and oh they're pretty oh, darn accurate okay. if I didn't yeah. say yeah. so yeah. myself yeah. Yeah. That's you guys nice. um, and they're really they're yes. thanks guys, thanks, I hear guys. You back back. There. thank yeah. you little delayed but I'll take it um, <laughs> this is this is really easy to do and really all that you need are a pair of heels that you already own um, they're not going to be changed permanently so you don't have to worry about ruining them so something that you you love you can use and then go to your fabric store and either look for, you know, they've got faux leather on the roll. A lot of places will have bins of scraps. So at my yeah. fabric store, all of these were $3 and they were different shapes, different wow. sizes, and I just picked a wide variety. Um, I got started on the ones I'm wearing earlier today. So let's take a look and I'll, I'll walk you through the steps. So these are the materials. I had, you know, scissors and my rotary cutter, my ruler. And the first thing you do is mark how wide you want them. Though I found that about three inches wide and about four inches long was really the right size for most heels. So you're gonna cut. I use one of these um, rotary blades just because it's easy, but regular scissors are fine. You would just mark it with a pencil and then cut. So I cut them at an angle as well, um, so you can see they're a little smaller on top. And then next you're gonna create your little tabs. I did about three tenths of an inch, seemed like the right number, so I just went through and marked them, and then went in with my rotary and pushed it up against the blade and cut them. So there's our little tabs. You turned it around though, you flipped it over? Yes, so well I'll show you that in just a moment. Okay. So the next thing you do is you cut each little tab going one way, and then flip it around and cut them going the other way. When we come out of the pre-tape, I'll explain why. And then I got these really big kind of industrial safety pins. They have these at fabric stores. Um, you can get them online too. It was really hard that, for me to get it through, as you can that see. That like the yeah. part. Yeah, exactly. So what I did is I just went in with my scissors and I cut a little teeny hole to make it you easier. You one of those hole punches? You don't want you? the hole to no, be too, too big. big. Okay. So you want to really right. just give yourself a tiny little space there. Okay. Hmm. Now, the main reason um, that you want to cut going one way is that it's a little bit awkward to go like this and cut and then turn your arm and cut like that. So if you cut, 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 go one way, mm -hmm. then just flip it and you can do your other and you can make those perfect little points. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sure. It's, it's a little awkward to do it like all at once. I get your point. I, uh, oh. Well, no, I do, I get your I mean, point. what do you expect I get, for us, right? the guy to talk about shoes? He's yeah, yeah he's gotta, gotta find something yeah, interesting. Well, hey, I know you <laughs> spent a lot of time in Hawaii. You probably own like one pair of flip-flops hey, and that's I it. I have a size uh, 12, so, so I have a hard time yeah, finding I shoes. Oh. So I would own closets full of shoes if, if they, they were so yeah. if they were so feasible. Um, I've seen these on men's shoes too. Well, I might yeah, be having to yeah. do that. What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> I got a pair of heels you can borrow. You know, Gabby, they have something even for you too. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. I was just coming to him because I, I just looked down shopping. at his shoes yeah. and you can put them you, on. And that's the thing well. is it kind of is a take on that, that sort of classic preppy loafer that are done on men's yeah. shoes yeah. and they're being done in heels. Now, another thing to consider when you're buying your fabric, Would yeah. Would be hard to cut, you think? Or no, okay? I did it. Okay. So this is actually it right here. Oh. Each oh. fabric oh. has oh. two sides. So if you want, you know, take oh. a look at the fabric that you've got and consider doing the reverse side. The same with these. So see, this was the color of that leather. It's a really beautiful eggplant mm. color. Yeah. I thought a the a texture. sort of contrast would mm -hmm. look nice, but a similar texture. Nice. So using the other side, consider that. And now the way that you apply it, there's two sort of things you can do. One would be top stick. What is top stick? So top stick, we all have, you know, um, we all have it because, especially in television, because it keeps our clothes in place. It's double-sided tape, but it's really strong. You can get it on like Amazon or Sally's carries it. Another thing is like this is 3M 
double-sided scotch tape, that would work. Or if you wanna make them interchangeable, you could use the double stick Velcro. Mm. Because then you could put the Velcro on and you could swap colors. But basically, the final step and all you're gonna do is you'll take your tape, put it right on the base of your shoe here, and then take your little loafer piece and you kind of want to have it stick out a little. That's sort of the look here is that it, it goes, the heel goes down and then it mm -hmm. kind of pops up like that. Yep. So now you let it pop up just a little bit and just push it right into place. Oh, and now perfect. this is here for as long as you want it and when you're over it or the trend is gone, you take it off, take the tape off and move on. And put shoe that. clips on. <laughs> and put <laughs> shoe <laughs> clips. We'll find something <laughs> else to do next week for those shoes. How much? So this is like five dollars, perhaps. Wow. Per shoe or per pair. Of shoes? Five dollars total, Mark. Really? Yeah, you just need a little All bit in. of your fabric here, and then these these we little. We would have guys. to double that if we were going to do one of Gabrielle's shoes because she's, she's going to need. Yeah, she's, like she's she's it out. Yeah. She's not going to be submitting like, to you. <laughs> it's a good so the, the real versions, you know, one hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars. Yeah. They're they're really pricey. Yeah. And they're beautiful. Yeah, the but Gucci one. You can do a little more.